Good evening. It is a pleasure to be with all of you celebrating outstanding colleagues who work to care for people in our communities. I am almost four months into my career as a physician assistant and happily celebrate the Dash C after my PA. Although I have to admit, <laughs> um, I do have to admit that I, I miss being a student. Clinical decision making in the form of multiple choice questions is a lot easier than the real thing. I love this profession because I appreciate science. I love this profession because I appreciate people. But mostly, I love this profession because I appreciate justice. And being PAs enables us to transmit hope and facilitate change. Gathered around a table just outside Atlanta, Georgia, a young lady around the age of 16 asks me, so if my pimp had HIV, and I've already tested negative three times, I'm okay, right? Another young lady chimes in, if I had sex for the first time when I was eight, do I need a pap smear now? She was 16. These are the questions of young ladies who are victims of what some call America's dirty little secret, childhood prostitution. After moving to Atlanta to complete my PA training, I heard chatter that Atlanta was one of the top cities in the United States for sex trafficking. Really? Here in America, in this very city, I was obligated to act. I knew I was not going to solve this problem, but what would my part be? I found Wellspring Home for Girls, which is a therapeutic and educational program for child victims of forced prostitution and sex trafficking and discovered that they did not have any health education curriculum in place. I envisioned the development of a booklet, which is right here, um, which covered some pertinent health topics that would begin to empower these young ladies concerning their health. Through the collaborative work of fellow classmates, professors, and a generous grant from the PA Foundation, we were able to develop and print 500 booklets for these women, which covered vitamins, minerals, sexually transmitted infections, contraception, breath health, breast health, and navigating the healthcare system. Robert F. Kennedy said, each time a man stands up for an ideal or acts to improve the lot of others or strikes out against injustice, he sends forth a tiny ripple of hope and crossing each other from a million different centers of energy and daring, those ripples build a current which can sweep down the mightiest walls of oppression and resistance. So together as PAs, we send forth tiny ripples of hope to our patients, to our communities, and together these ripples form into a strong current. It is an honor to celebrate PAs that heal educate, lead, and provide this evening, and let's keep transmitting hope and fighting injustice together. <laughs> 